In this video guide, we'll talk about overlays. Overlay clips are videos, color clips, or images that you use in conjunction with the clips on your video track to create special effects. The overlay step gives you a lot of options to get creative. For example, you can create a picture-in-picture -picture effect like this one. Or, create a lower third graphic, like this one. The split screen effect is also a great way to close out a video or show highlights of a story. All of this is done using overlays, so let me show you some of the basics of how this is done. This is the default view of the edit tracks. The first track on your timeline is the video track. The second track is the overlay track. To add more overlay tracks, click on the overlay track manager. Here you can add up to six overlay tracks. Let's add another overlay track. Click OK. So now we have one video track and two overlay tracks. To add clips to the overlay track, simply drag a clip to the overlay track or you can right click the track and select insert video. Once the clip is on your overlay track, you can customize the clip using these options on the edit tab just like a regular clip. When you click on the attribute tab, the overlay clip is set to a preset size and positioned at the center. Here you can resize and reposition your clip. Let's make the clip smaller and place the overlay clip to the bottom left of the screen. A key thing to remember is always place the clips within the title safe area. Let's scrub the timeline to see our simple picture in picture effect. We can make this look a lot better by adding a border. Now that looks much better. You can also distort your clip by using these green nodes. By keeping the shift key pressed, you can restrict the distortion within the yellow border or marquee of the clip. If the shift key is not pressed, you can extend the distortion beyond the marquee. Let's scrub the timeline and see our distorted clip. To reset the original shape, right click on the overlay clip and select Reset Distort. You can also fade in and fade out your overlay clips. Simply click the fade in and fade out icons. Now let's scrub the timeline. The overlay clip now fades in and fades out. You can also apply some motion effects. Let's make the clip enter from the left and exit from the right. The highlighted arrows indicate that the motion to the right has been applied. Let's scrub the timeline. This time the clip not only fades in and out, but also moves across the screen. You can control the pause in the motion effect by adjusting these handles. To increase pause duration, drag these handles out. And to remove any pause, just shrink the handles. On scrubbing the timeline, you can see the motion effect has no pause. There are many other motion effects such as rotation, enter and exit diagonally, etc. So just play around with these options and have fun. You can copy the overlay attributes from one clip to another to save time. 
Let's add another clip to the first overlay track and adjust the clips. Simply right click on the first clip and select Copy Attributes. Then right click the second clip and select Paste Attributes. Now both overlay clips have the same attributes. You can also apply video filters to the overlay clip, just like a regular clip. We've already covered this in a previous tutorial. Now we'll talk about objects and frames. You can make your videos more interesting by adding objects and frames on the overlay track. Let's clear the timeline and go to the overlay tutorial folder. Drag the giraffe clip to the video track. Now from the decoration menu, select frame. Let's drag F03 to the overlay track and extend its duration to fit the first clip. Let's preview our work. Well, I think that looks pretty cool. Now let's try out Objects. Go to the Objects menu. We'll remove F03 from the timeline and add the text bubble. And we'll also extend it. And let's resize it too. Now click on Title and double click the preview window. Let's make the giraffe say hi and adjust the clips. Okay, let's go ahead and preview the, our work. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Using animated backgrounds is a powerful technique to make your videos more interesting. Let me show you one quick technique. This sample comes with VS10. Let's drag it to the video track. As you can see, this is an animated clip. Now let's add the fish clip to the overlay track 1 and adjust the size to fit the frame. Let's preview our work. As you can see, animated backgrounds add an extra dimension to your video. The key thing to remember here is to synchronize the overlay with the animation as we've done here. In the same way, you can use these flash animations that ship with Video Studio to give that extra edge to your videos. We'll cover masks and chroma keying in the next video.